Now, continuing from the last video, let's remove this template from the path to the header and footer. So header and then footer. The same thing. Now scroll up a little bit. And before the price, what we're going to do, actually, let's do it after the price rather than before the price. I'm going to copy this price bit here. So if we copy this, paste it underneath. And what we're going to do, replace the price with identity now. Identity, because obviously we need to add these new fields here as well. So for identity. And now if we copy this, it's going to be for validation as well. Plus validation is going to be have another one. But let's first do the convert the field as well. So we have ID and name identity and then in a validation sticky form field as well. And it's not going to be field price. It's going to be just field. And now let's copy this validate block here, paste it underneath, and we're going to have identity, sorry, duplicate identity as well, because that's the next message that might be displayed here. So duplicate identity. Now that we have this one done, if we copy the entire block, let me close the browser on the left. Let's copy this block and paste it underneath. Now rather than identity, it's going to be meta title and for attribute meta underscore title, then validate meta title, we can remove this duplicate identity, name and ID as well, and obviously for the sticky form field as well, meta title. Now, uh, obviously, uh, next one is going to be meta description, so it's not going to be input anymore, we're going to be using text area, but let's copy the entire block, again, paste it underneath, and now meta description, and obviously meta description as for attribute. And the same for the validate method as parameter. Now, rather than having the input, as I said, we're going to have text area here. So text area name is going to be meta description, ID meta description. We are going to now have, I'm going to put on a new line, class TAR underscore fixed. And then we have value inside of this one, which I'm going to basically take from this one because it's going to be sticky text as well. So copy the entire thing with obviously a parameter changed as well accordingly. And now we can save it. Obviously the last thing we need to do is the meta keyword. So again, let's copy the entire block. And if we paste it underneath and change the meta description to meta keywords. So meta keywords and meta keywords for attribute. Same for the validate parameter name attribute and ID attributes, same for the parameter for sticky text. So that's everything in this video. Our add page is now completed. Let's actually go back to our browser. If we click on add new product, you can see these new fields now have been added. Uh, we also need to amend our validation class to obviously include because if we hit now add, you can see that we have the, these errors here because these indexes haven't been defined inside of the validation class yet. So that's something we're going to have a look at in the next video.